So welcome. Uh, thanks for being a part of the Oxford Sessions. We do appreciate it. Thanks, man. Oh, yeah, it's great to be a part of the Oxford Sessions. A really great thing going here. Um, I met a girl uh, my senior year of high school. No. <laughs> I Wait really, a did. I really did. Wait. Yeah, I met a few, but yeah, <laughs> this one went here and uh, came up to visit, and uh, I was sold. And uh, I went to <laughs> college here for my first two years, and uh, made some of the best friends of my life here. Love it. Got my dog here. You know, Oxford's really, Oxford's really in a unique position. Um, for some reason, that you know, Oxford, comparatively to all the other small towns, and in you know the college towns in Mississippi and in the south is really kind of a mecca for um, creativity and for um, you know touring bands that uh, that really want to share their music with the college audience and you know besides that there's um, you know there's there's just a, there's so many great musicians here and there's some great recording studios I know some some uh, bands that are uh, big nationally touring acts do their, do their records here so uh, there's a lot of music going on here and um, I played music uh, here all through college and, um, you know, I uh, love coming back. A uh, mutual friend in Austin uh, had been working with Carter a little bit and uh, needed a bass player. And I also play bass. And uh, he's a kick-ass bass player. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and put us in touch, you know, and Carter and I got together one day and uh, Carter did a record of his own material. Uh, before this pre this one that we're working on right now and I listened to that and and that was it I gave him a call and we got together did some rehearsing did a few gigs and then decided we wanted to uh, do some traveling and it, in order to be more cost-effective I guess you could say or economical with the situation we sort of pared it down to what you see now for the time being uh, in order to facilitate you know the big rock show later on <laughs> and it's kind of become its own thing too yeah people you know people genuinely seem to seem to enjoy this it's a, kind of a folky thing and it also allows us to play smaller rooms and you know more more intimate settings like well, like wood. this <laughs> <laughs> couldn't really do this with a rock band yeah no. well we could I guess but <laughs> uh, generators <laughs> probably and, get uh, in trouble <laughs> <laughs> almost nightly you know almost regularly uh, especially like this I mean this this configuration is so open you know it's it's so loose I mean we don't have to we're not confined to a drummer telling us where everything is, for example. Uh, yeah, and I you guess know, I should watch how I say that. <laughs> you <know? laughs> Probably. You never know what's going to happen when, when you get up there on stage. And, um, you know, it's kind of it's kind of the magic of each show is that uh, you get to, uh, you know, you get you get your legs under you and spend the, the first couple songs uh, trying, to, trying to read the crowd and everything. And then something happens. And, you know, sometimes we'll look at each other. Sometimes we won't. Sometimes it just snaps into place. But uh, there's there's definitely a, a moment where it all comes together and it's all okay. And then for the rest of the show, it's like it's just like we're in this sort of aura of music and energy and um, just it's just a, it's a beautiful place. Yeah. Bear hunting. <laughs> Carter has killed a bear. He had to, right? You had to. I had to do it. Yeah. I was in Alaska. It was a bear. Standing right there. <laughs> now, um, we, we like to. Uh, I don't know. I, I really, I really like to go see music. Um, I like to. Uh, I like to spend you know, as much time outdoors as possible. Um, I, uh, I'm, I'm big into backpacking and camping and uh, and uh, whiskey. That's a hobby. Yeah. Right. <laughs> we kind of sure are fine <laughs> spirits. Spirits. Yeah. spirits yeah. <laughs> How about you? Right on. I'm into astronomy and, and you know, reading a lot. You know, I write uh, my own music as well, and I've done some soundtrack stuff for PBS and Sundance, and uh, I don't know if you can call that a hobby, really, but, you know, the whole thing is a big, big-ass hobby. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> In a way. Hobby we're know? getting away with doing yeah, yeah, we're all kinda, the time. Yeah. <laughs> Very true. Very true. Um, the second song we played today um, is called The Last Song. And I joke around at uh, at my live shows when we're playing. I say, you know, this is the the most recent song I've written, and it's and it's going to be the last song I ever write. And it's a joke, but I mean that's how I felt at the time. And when I completed it, I feel like it's one of the stronger compositions on the new record that we're working on. Um, 
um, which is called Wire Choir, and it's going to be, by the way, released as a free download from my website, carterbeckworth.com. Um, anyway, the Carter last... Beckworth Music. Oh, yeah, carterbeckworthmusic.com. That's it. Uh, thank you, Steve. <clears throat> What's your website? stevebernolmusic.com. There you go. <laughs> okay, so the last song, um, you know, I really did feel like upon its completion that I didn't need to say anything else, and you know, I think a lot of artists, you know, have this have the same muses and try to say the same things over and over again. I certainly do, and um, you know, I find that, you know, 90% of my songs are about the same person or the same theme or the same feeling, um, and that one happened to come out in a kind of kind of cheerful way, but it's also very tongue in cheek, and if you listen to it, it's a, it's a pretty dark song, um, but it's just about it's about how everything one creates um, has to do with a single set of emotions and um, you can express that in many different ways but um, I think once you once you capture a snapshot or a song um, you get as close to perfection as you can in terms of expressing expressing these things I can't make it here <laughs> <laughs> It wouldn't be polite. <laughs> it wouldn't be. Uh, <laughs> it wouldn't be nice. You couldn't. How about, how about this? <sighs> how about that? <laughs> yeah, explain it. Oh, I'm just kidding, really. But you know, it's um, it's a, it's a tough road to travel. Sometimes, you know, it, it can be a little frustrating. Uh, you feel like you're going against the wind and up a hill at the you know at the same time very often. Um, but usually, you know, you, there's a result for the effort and. Uh, and that's what works, you know. I think a deep sigh about sums it all up. There you go. <laughs> like, that's, oh, that's really good. fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody had one. Uh, hers was. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what her explanation behind yeah, it was. Mine is. <laughs> <can't wait. laughs> yeah, it's, like, it's a funny way to live sometimes, you know. Uh, every place, you know. Every place has their own uh, has has their own virtues that you know are the reason that we keep going back to those places. Um, we tour all over the country, so um, you know Nashville and Austin and Oxford are just you know just um, a few of the stops we make. But um, you know I think I think Austin is 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 where we where we feel at home and where you know we 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 have our homes and um, but. You know, for Oxford, for example, where we are now, um, is uh, is such a kind of a fountain of youth, and you know, I uh, I went to school here, and I certain it certainly reminds me of of uh, my youth, and um, also I don't um, while Oxford is a is definitely a mecca for uh, for touring musicians in a big way. Um, I'm not sure that Oxford gets to hear a lot of this kind of stuff. Um, and so it's really special for us to kind of see that surprise and that satisfaction um, and that interest from you know a new a new audience a new you know generation if you will. Hey, I'm Carter Beckworth. I'm Steve Bernal. And this has been our Oxford session. <laughs>